You got an EV and now it's time to charge the car. If you're having issues getting a full charge overnight with a basic outlet, it's time for a level two charger. If you've done some research, you know how confusing some of the options are. What speed do you need? Do you need a charger or just an outlet? What connector is right? In this video, we're gonna answer all of those questions. The first thing that we need to consider when getting a charger installed is the current needed. While it's true that the higher the amps of your outlet, the faster you'll charge, that only works to a certain amount. For example, a 40 amp outlet can output at 9.6 kilowatts, but a 2017 Nissan LEAF can only accept at 6.6 .6 kilowatts due to the limitations of its onboard charger. In that case, you're spending extra money on a faster outlet for no real benefit. But if you have something like a Tesla, which can charge at 11.5 kilowatts, you're gonna be using all the possible power if you're not sure what speed your car is capable of, Clipper Creek has a great document that shows the capabilities of each EV's onboard charger. I'll be sure to drop a link to that in the description along with a handy calculator that will tell you your charge power as a result of your outlet's current. Now that we know what speed our car can charge at, we'll need to pick between our plug options. If you're gonna need 40 amps or less, then you can get an outlet installed for your charger. However, due to the limitations of the NEMA 1450 standard, we can't have current greater than 40 amps. If you're going to max out your Tesla, you'll need a 48 amp charger, which needs to be hardwired. Any charger capable of current over 40 amps will need to be hardwired. Kind of unfortunate, but that's just the way it is. But what if you don't need more than 40 amps? Well, we get a couple of options on whether we want to get a hardwired or outlet based charger. There's really no difference between a hardwired and outlet based because of that I'd always go for the outlet model if available since you can take it with you if you need and you can always get a better model later on if you need a faster charge. This also raises the question, do I need a charger in the first place? Teslas are a great example of why you might not need a charger. Their mobile connector comes with a modular plug allowing you to swap out the traditional outlet connector for a NEMA 1450 plug. This means that all you need to do is get a NEMA 1450 outlet installed and you're good to go. You can also do something similar for other EVs as well. One important thing to note, however, is that the Tesla mobile connector is only capable of 32 amps, where the Clipper Creek charger I have right here does 40 amps. So in this case, there is a benefit of using a dedicated charger because we're able to achieve higher speeds. Here's why you might not want to do that though. Unless you're certain you won't be needing your mobile connector with you, you'll need to bring it with you every time you leave. It's a hassle to deal with the long cable and takes up much more time every time you unplug. And if you keep your charger at home all the time, you'll be out of luck if you need it and won't have it with you. That decision is up to you, but I would really prefer having a dedicated charger for home use that I can just unplug and not have to worry about doing anything more than hanging it back up. So now we must answer the question, is it worth getting a level two charger? Absolutely, there is no question that a level two charger is worth it in every way. Whether or not you want to get a dedicated charging station for this purpose is more up to you. I think it's definitely worth it. And if you wanna learn more about the Clipper Creek HCS 50P, which you've seen in this video, be sure to check out our review, which will be linked in the description below. Other than that, that's all you really need to know when picking out a level two charger. Just determine what speed your car is capable of and whether or not you need a dedicated charger. Besides that, it's pretty simple and easy. To see all the options for yourself, go to Clipper Creek's website and take the quiz to find out which charger fits your EV specific needs.